Hey guys, this is Tony. This is Josh. This is John. And today we went to Charlie's Philly Steaks. It's a new restaurant, the old fast food chain that opened up in our area. They have one there in, in Tampa. And it's been a long time, like 2005, I think, or four since I've been to them. But I remember them being pretty good. So, yeah, Philly so Steaks and Wings. You both got the number one. Yes. Yep. I got the number nine, which is they, there's the original Philly cheesesteak. Mine's a prime rib mm -hmm. cheesesteak, and I got ultimate fries. Do not look like the picture. They look good. They're they are good. We I told them before we started. Really good. No, um, no, yeah. Go ahead. Now I got my now the original way it comes is the way Tony got his with lettuce, tomato, the meat, onion, pepper, and then provolone. Mm -hmm. And I got mine without lettuce and tomato. So mine's more of a traditional because I didn't do the... Well, and they don't do cheese Whiz. So if you guys are expecting cheese Whiz, they do not have it. But if you get the cheese... I think if you get the cheese that's on the fries, probably really good. Well, that, that cheese is really mine, good. Mine is prime uh, rib sl uh, sliced. These little, like, uh, what are these things? Like fried onions. Mm -hmm. onion, like fried onion. onions, jalapenos, bacon, and like a barbecue sauce, lettuce, and tomato. And then bacon... Them. And two types of cheese. And I got sweet these tea. Are, these are actually I, pretty good. What would you get? Sweet tea? The fries are really good by themselves. Like, without anything on them, they're great. Yeah. I can't complain. These actually are pretty decent with cheese. Let me know how the, the original is. I'm really curious. All right. Well, I'm going to take a bite real quick. There is a... Steak. Did you tell me what was in it? Yeah. 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 That bread is really good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Now these... How is, the meat? How is the meat? The meat is... It's a little bit dry. Really? I remember okay. it being juicier. Yeah. Look at this, guys. I really like the bread. That's really good. I the bread is amazing. I got Coke Zero, not Diet Coke. Mm. Right, let's try this. What did you get? This is the prime rib one. Um, mm -hmm. It was a little dry. Mm -hmm. I mean, they pack a lot in this. I mean, look at this, guys. Right. First bite. It's super warm. I'm not big mm -hmm. on lettuce and tomato and Philly cheesesteaks. It's pretty good though. The classic is you get the bread, you slather the, uh, the uh, cheese with it in there, put the meat in, the onions, the uh, green peppers, and then more cheese on the top. Oh, and I like it with cheese Whiz. We I don't think I'd get this again. I think I get a normal one like you guys did. Mm -hmm. We said cheese Whiz. They were like, huh? And how much is this? So the larges for the meals mm -hmm. is ten ninety nine, which I assumed it came with fries because that's kind of how it sounds because it's a meal. No. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's not. They come with a drink though, which makes no sense. So I'm going to have to double check. Okay. Well, how much was that one on that? Same. That was same price? Yeah. That's cool. And we got you a regular one. We didn't get you a large because you don't get a lot. Now the That's fries were. Now those fries are five dollars for four fifty. That's kind of expensive for that. So all together. But they are good. It was like forty one, roughly forty one. Forty seven. Forty seven. It was the, the bread is really good. It was in the forties. Yeah, the bread's great. I love the bread. Like, the bread I could eat all day. 
It's not a bad cheesesteak. My but cheese it's, de it's definitely not the best. No. The profile is not bad. You get better from that one place you go to. What's that? Rockies? Mm-hmm. The Rockies is a good weapon to do that. I don't think we've done them. Mm -mm. Rockies is amazing. I love it. But they're closed on Sundays. Yeah. I apologize if you hear the bark barking in the background. Sadie is being ornery at the moment. We figured out outside would bust them now. Yeah. It's down a little bit. Jeez. The best part is the, the bread. <laughs> That's the sad part, it is. I really I don't feel the like bread. the lesson tomato go on this. No, they do not. I was surprised when I saw it on there. Because she said all of them come with lettuce, tomato, and mayo are the, the main part. They need some kind of sausage dip then. Like cheese was? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to have. Ooh. You guys want some fries? What's the fries? I'm good. You know what? Pass me one. I'll have like one. Because the cheese on that is really good. I'm gonna actually, next time if we ever go again, request the cheese that's on this. On my, uh... See, I want to say the problem. I think it'd be really good. They're, uh, They're good. I that cheese is really rich, though. There's so many b better, uh, cheesesteaks around, though. Yeah. You know? I don't know if I... What's do. your guys' favorite cheesesteak place to go to? Yeah, let us know. Is this like a chain like this, or is it a mom and pop? Now remember, this is a fast food, so... Yeah, this one is. Mm-hmm. Maybe this, you're talking like a McDonald's or Philly cheesesteaks. And, uh... I hate warm like, tomatoes, man. I don't like them either. Oh, yeah. It's a big turn off. I put mayonnaise in it, too, it looks like. Yes. Yeah, there is mayo. Which, that's not bad. Mayo, the mayo's not overly... There's not a lot. There's like a little bit to coat the bread. That bread, though? The bread's really good. Oh, God. That bread is dynamite. Soft. The sad thing is we're not talking about the meat. It's the bread. <laughs> the meat's a little dry. This is a, mine's not. Yours isn't? Mine is super Yours has nice. a lot of stuff on it, though. Like, like onions. You, can see it. Mine's more. you have a sauce, too, right? There's a sauce, like a barbecue sauce kind of thing? Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm biting into like warm wilted well, lettuce and it's not good. Yeah, that's what I said when they so when I saw lettuce, I'm like, I don't want lettuce. I figured Tony would want it the the way it came to review it properly. Yeah. I mean but This yeah. has some good flavor. Warm tomato though is not warm tomato and lettuce is not good. I don't, I don't like tomatoes on them. I don't, I don't, there's very few sandwiches that I really like tomatoes. That's not true. When you get your like Boris Head Ultimate like Publix, you always have tomato. Mm -mm. No. Mm -hmm. I know I don't because I don't want my sandwich wet. I do. I get the tomato. Yeah. yeah, and then you get vinaigrette on it too. You get that. You get olive oil or whatever. You like you like your sandwich wet. He's like uh, uh, the things that I call those things. Drops love sauce, and I know that. Mm -hmm. This type is more moist than the other type for some reason. That bite, I could taste the juices from the meat. Good. And does it give you a better opinion of it? Mm -hmm. There's good flavor. But it shouldn't it's be. It's not terrible. But it should be on the whole sandwich, not just half. When you get the perfect bite, it's good. My only gripe is, uh, the provolone wasn't bad, but I think cheese was would have definitely made that way better. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't like provolone on a cheese thing. But yeah, guys. I mean, if you're driving by one, and you're in the mood for something different, don't want a burger or, or fried chicken or something like that, Go ahead and stop in here. I mean, 
It's it's worth getting, you know. Uh, price point. It's a little expensive. It's, uh, the, that's what you know. you're getting. But it's I think, worth eleven bucks. The, the way I think about it, I think about like an Arby's because Arby's is expensive. Not eleven dollars is expensive. If nope. you get their, if you get, if you don't get their regular cheddar sandwiches, their their sandwiches are expensive. Six seven dollars. Yeah. Not ten dollars. Yeah. Um. And you got, and yours was actually wasn't even eleven dollars. Yours was cheaper because you you got a regular. It was like eight ninety nine. Okay. Here's my problem. Here. If I don't want a burger, or fried chicken, or whatever. Or a taco. Or a taco, yeah. Would I get this then? No. Or would I go find a better cheesesteak? I would just go to Rockies. No, go to Rockies. Now we're going to have to review out Rockies. Yeah, and do a comparison. Yeah. I don't know if we've done Rockies. I think we... No, we have not done Rockies. We've talked about it several times. I don't think we were actually... Like sat down and reviewed it. So, would you give it a thumbs up? So, we're not doing the rating scale. Would you give it a thumbs up? Would you have it again? If you didn't want a burger or tacos or whatever. I'd have it again if it was the... If I wanted a cheesesteak and... The Rockies was good. And, no. If I was on town, but that's the only cheesesteak in town. There's so many more... So, basically, if it's a, like a last-ditch effort, like for a cheesesteak. Right. So basically, it's more of a thumbs down. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Thumbs down for me. I mean, I ate it. It's good to an extent. But. 11 bucks. Overall, I, it's a thumbs down for me. So, it's a th- sideways thumbs for me. It's not bad. I think I think mine was the way it should have been. Minus the cheese was. I think if you guys wouldn't have less than me, I probably would have made your experience a little bit better. Because... Warm lettuce and tomato on a hot sandwich is not good. Now, I will say I did really like those fries. Josh, what do you think about the fries, honestly? <coughs> okay. Because we're picky on fries. I think for four twenty five, it's overpriced. Mm-hmm. Were they good? I think out of the fast food genre, these are probably one of the better fries. I don't like fries. No, they I, remind I me more them. of a wedge. Actually. Those re- these remind me of it like it actually came from a potato. It's yeah. not like McDonald's fries. The cheese was really good on those. Rich, it but it was really good. I tell you what, I'm free to say that because McDonald's fries used to be everybody's. Go-to, McDonald's go-to. fries, you know, and McDonald's fries are good, but only if they're fresh. Not sitting there for ten days. But 99% of the time we've ever gone, they're not fresh, they're soggy, (coughs) you can definitely tell they're refried because they have that after, they have that refried taste. Hmm. I mean, that's nasty. And if you ask them for fresh fries, they give you attitude. Like, I know one time they told us that we had to wait like 10 minutes, so I was like, well, since you're doing that, can you give us fresh fries? They're like, oh, I guess. It's like, well, we're already waiting 10 minutes, I mean, what's the point of your fries only take like three minutes. It's not like it's an issue. We're at, at McDonald's. Yeah, because yeah. we had to wait like because we it was one of the we did a challenge that day, mm-hmm. so we had to wait like ten minutes for, you know, fries for fries. all the fries for everything. That's crazy. So he's like, "Well, can you just do fresh fries then?" That's why a lot of times Josh will go, "Can I get unsalted fries?" Because they have because they fresh. have to make it fresh. Yes. And then he'll just come home with salt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It doesn't taste the same, but yeah, it's a, I mean, the fresh fries are... My favorite fries right now, though, are checkers. They're fresh. seasoned fries. Oh. For fast food, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for fast food. Like, we almost did that last night, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're pretty good. I don't know. Were we, to be fair, we are... <coughs> 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 Did I really hit you? Yeah, you, you did. It was crazy. Oh my goodness. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. I need to quarantine now. Right. Now what were you saying, Josh? To be fair, we, uh, like they said, we don't... <coughs> we don't right. like fries really that much. Yeah. But when we do get them... Yeah. Checkers. My favorite kind of fries are not fries you don't get at fast food. I like the wedges. The big, thick home fries, style fries. Those right on. Oh! You used to be able to get them at gas stations. Red Robin. 
You used to be, oh, yeah. no, you're talking about the long fries. No, Red Robin. Yeah, Red Robin style fries. Those hey, I've never had Red Robin. I've never had Red wow. Robin. Their fries are amazing. We had a couple amazing. times in Washington. I mean, yeah. We had a couple times here. Yeah, we, they, if, you, if you go inside, <clears throat> it's a bottomless fries. Huh. With every any kind of sandwich you order. You can go to Hard Tack Grill in Dallas and do that, or Vegas. Yeah, I like to weigh a certain amount, which... 350. Right now, which, oh, shit. <laughs> right now, we, right now we will qualify. Yeah. That's not a compliment for me, guys. <laughs> I don't want a free meal. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, yeah. So everybody said thumbs so down for this. Right now, well, mine was sideways. I did Mine wasn't bad. I the, the meat was definitely dry, but I'm upset because I I kind of asked for a meal and I did not get my fries. So I'm gonna have to look at the look at the receipt. But this seemed like when I said I want a meal. Mm. I assumed it came with fries because mm. it said make it a meal, mm. but it was for. I mean, it's it's really overpriced for what you get. Mm. I feel. All right, guys. <laughs> um, and you? Just don't forget to like, guys. Subscribe. And share. Hit that little notification bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. <laughs> All right, guys. Later. Bye.